Hey, what's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another guitar tutorial like we do every single Monday. If you like this kind of content, if you want to learn to play guitar, remember to hit subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a lesson. Today we're breaking down Cotton Fields, written by the great Lead Belly, but we are going to be doing it in the style of CCR, which includes that tasty intro riff and everything. Tabs on the screen, but if you want printable tabs for this lesson and our lessons, including lyric, song, sheet, everything, you can get them by becoming a Patreon. Links up in the notes. But if you can just because you love this jam and you want to get that tasty intro riff down perfect that's cool i dig it and i respect it why don't you go ahead and grab your guitar brain and attention span when you have those three things follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together come on cool so let's go ahead and break this lick down i am just doing down play um down strokes with my pick we're going to start with our pointer finger on the second fret of the d string we're going to go two four up to the d string and then grab the second fret of the G. And four and one. Then we're gonna play the second fret up here of our um, G string again. One, two, three. And then the fourth fret of our um, G, we're gonna pluck and pull to two. So everything up to there, we get one, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, four, and. And then once that ring finger pulls off, it's gonna grab the fifth fret of this B string here and bend up and down. One, and. One, and. And then you're gonna get the open high E. Okay? One, and, two, and. Open high E, three, four. Okay, so everything up there really slow. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, two, and three, four. Middle finger, fourth fret of the G, and then our ring finger is going to play the fifth fret of the B, and we're going to go one, we're going to play those two strings at the same time, one, two, down two frets, three, four, and then two, two, which comes from an A chord to finish the lick. So that last measure is one, two, three, four, one. The whole thing nice and slow. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, Four, one, two, three, four, one. A little quicker. One. A little quicker. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right. Cool. I have your attention. Let's get the chords. A major. D major and an E major or you could play E7 if you wanted to have a little more twang cool let's zoom out and let's put all these pieces together all right so now that we're zoomed out why don't we play that riff together one more time and then we'll break down the rest of the tune cool as opposed to the E7 so our strum pattern, let's make an A and let's go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now, it's a pretty quick strum pattern, so we're not going to be doing like a full down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. You want to get in a little tighter and get it a little more chunky, a little more muted. Now, this is going to be both the same on the electric or the acoustic as well, but um, if you're not fully comfortable with muting with your right hand, don't worry about that too much. That will come with time. Why don't we figure out the song and you can start to fill in those holes with practice. The verse is going to be two measures of A. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To a D. One, two, three, four. Back to an A. One, two, three, four. And 
then from there, we're going to do two on the A and two on the E. The next part will be two strum patterns on the A, one on the D, and one on the A. And then the last one will be one on the A, one on the E, and then two on the A. All right, nice and slow. Um, those first two strum patterns too will be a cappella, but that is the harmony. So, when I was a little itty bitty baby, mama used to rock me in the cradle, in the mold, cotton fields back home. It was down in Louisiana, just about a mile from Texarkana, in the mold, cotton fields back home. All right, so that would be the verse. Then you get into the chorus, and the chorus is three quarters the same, but the first um, time through, you're gonna play two strum patterns on the D, and then two on the A. But then the rest is the same. So let's put the lyrics up. Well, when the cotton balls get rotten, you can't pick very much cotton. And the more cotton feels back home, it was down in Louisiana, it was about a mile from Texarkana. In the morning, cotton fields back home. And then you're into the next verse. And believe it or not, folks, that is the entire tune. So why don't we go ahead and drop the intro riff and play through the first verse and the chorus. Once you can get that, you can get the whole tune. So let's take it from the top. <laughs> Mama used to rock me in the cradle In the morn, cotton fields back home It was down in Louisiana Just about a mile from Texarkana In the morn, cotton fields back home When that cotton ball get rotten You can't pick very much cotton of our lives in general if you're going to go on really really long hikes cotton retains water and wool socks will keep your feet safer just so you know all right 10 thumbspro.com thank you so much for learning the guitar with us new guitar tutorials every single monday get those links up there become a patreon print it out accelerate your learning and until next time just Keep on rocking and rolling, folks, and keep on uh, going down to Texarkana, just about a mile from Louisiana. Cool. So thank you so much for watching to the very end. I love this tune. I love Credence. Um, I love Clearwater, and I love Revivals. So that's pretty much three for three. Again, printable tabs up there by becoming a Patreon. Think about it. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. Skype lessons one-on-one -on -one if you're interested. Maybe you want to learn how to write a tasty riff like that. Just email me 10 thumbsproductions at gmail.com and I will see you next Monday for another guitar tutorial. Have a lovely weekend or a day or a moment or let's say it's three in the afternoon right now. Have a lovely three in the afternoon. Whatever time it is. It's all good. Take care.